If you are an electronic engineer, professional technician, electronic hobbyist or electronic circuits designer, this video completely for you. You always need an variable power supply for your projects. You will buy this variable professional power supply from market around 5 to 6000 bucks. Here I will tell you that you don't need buy such a costly variable power supply. We will make it around 6 to 700 bucks. If not believe, then watch this video completely up to end. And don't miss to like, subscribe and share if are new to this channel. Here we are using AATX power supply, ADC to DC buck converter, a volt amps meter, a rotary switch, and some passive components. So let's begin. Hello friends this is an ATX power supply mostly used in computers. Here we are using an 300 watt power supply for variable power supply output. You can buy this ATX power supply nearby computer shops. It may be available in the range of 150 to 300 rupees approx. In my case I have purchased this ATX at 150 rupees. First we have make an power supply clean as we are using an old power supply. We are removing all screws first. Then we remove motherboard, DC fan and connectors from ATX based carefully. After that we will clean motherboard.fan and baste with help of soft brush properly. After cleaning it we need to make 4 holes to base of ATX power supply and attach all 4 stand holder to base. using small bolts and tight it with help of spanner. We insulating all four bolts with help of tape to avoid short circuit of motherboard. Now after insulating we are reinstall motherboard, fan and connector to the base properly. If are new to this channel please like, subscribe and share. Now we have to make an connection with connector and motherboard. Oh. 
Now close cover of ATX supply properly and tight all screws. Now for variable power supply we are using DC to DC step up buck converter. For that we are removing 10k preset and connecting jumper wires to 10k variable port. Now for designing front panel of our power supply we need PVC sheets, we are extracting it from PVC pipe, we are taking in PVC pipe of 10 inch size approx, and mark a straight line on it and cut it with help of hacksaw. We have to make an pipe as flat sheet, for that we are going heat and press it to make flat sheet. Finally we have make and box of our front panel. Now we have mark and components on it, and with help of drill machine make and holes on mark position. cut with help of hacksaw dot and smooth all edges with help of file Now we are connected all the major components and it's given in circuit diagram given below in the description. If you have any dot in it you can comment us. Here we have mainly 3 fixed supply voltage from ATX that is 3.3 volt, 5 volt and 12 volt. We are making 2 variables voltage of 0 to 45 volt and 3 fixed voltage from it and also we making 1 USB connection of 5 volt 2 amps and 1 lithium ion battery charger of 3.3 volt. 
Along with this we are making an multimeter for measuring voltage, current and continuity tester on it, which make our power supply fully featured variable power supply. Now finally we are going assemble all components onto the panel. And after that panel going attached to ATX power supply. Now it's time to test our variable power supply. So finally after successfully testing we are going to decorate our variable power supply. We are decorate our power supply with help of stickers.
finally we have our professional fully functional variable power supply. Thank for watching if you like our video please subscribe like share it will motivate us to bring such amazing videos to you. Thank you will meet in next video.